hey guys i just felt like i didn't comfortable posting this without saying anything obviously about how fucked up the world is at the minute and what happened with george floyd and all like it's actually like beyond words like i can't believe people like that exist it just like it can't carry on i also filmed this video like before it all happened that's why like i don't mention it in the video and like it kind of kills me like listening to it back because I like complain about the most stupid stuff when obviously there's way more important things happening in the world. I've left on in the description a few links to like useful articles and petitions you can sign and if you can make any donations it'd be really good. I'm going to donate all the revenue from this video and obviously make my own donations too. So yeah, make sure you check the description. Okay, thanks. Good evening. Well, actually good afternoon because it's two o'clock and I just woke up. I'm just really tired and sick of my appearance because I actually did take my extensions out and like look at the size of my bun now. It used to be huge and now it's tiny and I'm kind of just like I need a day like going out and getting my hair and nails and facial done. But obviously I can't do that. So we're having a salon day, a spa day at my house. Did anyone else ever taste blood in their mouth when they wake up? Anyway, I actually do have an excuse for waking up at 2 today. I did not get to sleep until half 6 last night. My dog had explosive diarrhea. So I had to set up with him all night and let him out so that he wouldn't shit all over the house. It was honestly just vibes. And then, oh my god, I watched Fractured on Netflix and don't get like, fuck me up a wee bit, you should watch it. Speaking of Netflix, I have like severe nightmares about Outer Banks. Like, what was that? It was the worst thing I've ever watched in my life. It was like Riverdale, but like in summer. Oh my god, guys, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna cope when I tell you this. So, I went to make a coffee last night. Coffee machine says error. I'm thinking, oh, what's what's wrong here? I go, here, what happened to the coffee machine? And then my sister's boyfriend, who's been living with us for lockdown, goes, oh, I broke it. And I was like, what? Well, actually, he's Welsh, not English, but so he's like, I broke it. And I was like, you what now? Sorry, what was that? I did get in my car and zoom straight to Starbucks drive through. As soon as I pull up, they close. I literally, as soon as I pull up, had to go to Tim Hortons instead. Scary experience, but not gonna lie, the Tim Hortons coffee is so much nicer than Starbucks. So just a little tip for all you gals if you're wanting to get Starbucks. Actually don't, because it's kind of gross. Right, let me quickly let you in what we're doing today. We're gonna like bleach until my hair stops. I'm literally screaming, I'm gonna fry it off. Then I'm gonna put in new extensions. <laughs> And then I'm gonna do a lash lift, a brow lamination. I need to get rid of my mustache because like whenever I'm talking to my boyfriend, like I feel like he's literally just like staring at my mustache and it's really awkward. So I'm gonna have to get rid of it. And then I got like a gel nail kit, so we'll do that as well. Right, off to have breakfast. Guys, can you see it, can't you? You saw my mustache there, didn't you? Oh, do see without my eyes. <laughs> My mouth just farted. You know I used to call farts bottom burps when I was younger. I'm gonna be putting on some sensitive hair remover on my mustache. This made me like break out and have like a cut last time I used it, but like honestly, what else? I don't have any other options. So what do we all get up to this weekend? It was my sister's birthday on Sunday and everyone got really drunk and we got a hot tub and it was just a wild night. Like look at these videos of my mom. I'm honestly so confused by them. By the way, I'm just taking the peach fuzz off my face. It's like my favorite thing to do. I have a bit of an addiction. Everyone always asks me where I get these razors. Like, you just get them. I think I got them on Amazon. Yeah, you just get them on Amazon. They're like so cheap and they're so fun. I am kind of thriving with these new lockdown rules. Like for a while, I did not get on get out of my bed, but obviously now I can go for like nice wholesome picnics and stuff. I would have been doing my A levels right now. Like how weird is that? Like this is a huge fever dream. Like do I still go to school to pick up my results? Like what if my teacher secretly hates me and just gives me like a D for no reason? Like, I can't, like, it's her word against mine, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna now put on a face mask. If I could recommend one face mask to you, it would definitely be this one. Like, it's honestly amazing. It's, like, the only one I've, like, used that I actually see a difference in. Mind you, I haven't used that many face masks. But it is the Sand and Sky. Why is that word not upside down, but that word's upside down? I think it's Sand and Sky, but they've made their, their title very confusing. Something to work on, definitely. But it's a wee, like pink play mask i've talked about it before on my channel but yeah i really really enjoy it definitely my favorite face mask this could be like a hot girl summer prep video but it's just like a prep for me lime like it's very disheartening like you know when you step off the plane and you get that like 
breath of hot air like you're not gonna get that this year or are you it's really confusing because i'm pretty sure france and portugal were like yeah we're open for tourists 100 percent. but then like how am i gonna get there france and portugal do you know what i mean i would genuinely run to portugal okay and then one last thing i need to do before i get in the shower is i'm gonna put on a hair mask here's my hair guys you know what it's actually not that short i was expecting something like up here but it just doesn't look as blonde anymore because the extensions were literally the thing that was making it look blonde. That's why I'm using like bleach and toner on it today. But it's so much thinner than what it was like with extensions. Like whenever I had extensions in my ponytail was literally this thick and now it's a little rat's tail. But you know what? It's my own fault because I did used to have thick and healthy hair and I've ruined it because I'm a silly shiver bitch. So I have no one to blame but myself. I'm going to put in some Olaplex before my shower. I always use a hair mask of some sort in the shower just because my hair is really damaged. Okay, right. I've got everything on. I need to like wait another 10 minutes and you know what? I think I'm whiten my teeth in that 10 minutes and then we'll go have a shower okay right guys time for hair by the way i am really losing my patience because this guy outside my house clearly has a fetish for trimming hedges because he's been non-stop at it all day i'm not going to touch the brown bits because i went 100 percent fuck it up and like fry my hair off and make it ginger so i'm just like brightening up the blonde bit so i asked my hairdresser what to use i feel like if you want to do this like most of your hairdressers will tell you what they use in your hair so i have cream peroxide 10 volt so it's like a very weak bleach i should call him <laughs> joking and then the toner that i use for my hair that like goes in my extensions is l'oreal dialyte in 9.21 if anyone's interested if anyone wants to get it too it's a very nice like pearly champagne kind of blonde i don't know so i'm just gonna squeeze all of that in okay it is got a cup on it Okay, it's sectioning my hair, and then I suppose I'm just gonna have to use my hands here, aren't I? You know what I was thinking about the other day? Remember at the start of lockdown, I was like, yeah, I go on a run every day, and then I just come home and do an ab workout. Yeah, that's actually laughable at this point. Like, I look back at that, and I'm like, whoa. Like, all motivation is gone. Like, at the start of lockdown, I was like, I'm gonna make lockdown my bitch. And then, like, for two weeks, I really did, and then, like, look at me now. I haven't gone on a run in about a month. Okay, that's all in my hair now, and I'm gonna wait 10 minutes. But while I'm waiting, I wanted to show you this thing that i am obsessed with it also is my sister's and i steal it off her every time i use it so like don't tell her but like sharing is caring so okay so it's this thing from the body shop it's called drops of youth and it's like a liquid peel and wait do you see while i use it oh my god it is sensational your skin basically just flakes off can you see that like see all those bits that is my dead skin it literally just takes off all your dead skin and that is all my dead skin Oh my god, everyone has to get this. It's so much fun. It's kind of gross, but it's honestly amazing. See, when I went to go wash my hair there, no no hot water. There is never hot water in my house. It's like my mum is that typical Irish mum who like doesn't believe in electricity. So like if you leave a light on, like you're genuinely crucified. Oh my god, I just realized I haven't brushed my teeth today. That is actually horrid. Oh my god, it's like fucking four o'clock. <laughs> Okay, right, I'm out of the shower. It's hard to tell if it actually did anything because my hair looks brown when it's wet, but I'm just gonna put some oils on it. This is just one from Function of Beauty. I use so many oils in my hair, it's like so unnecessary. So while my hair is drying, I'm gonna go get my sister to do the lash lift and the brow lamination. I'm using this kit here. I got it on Amazon, it's Icon Sign. Icon sign. I don't know why I said that really weirdly. I've seen people on TikTok use it and they also, it's like only for your lashes, but people do like brow laminations with it, so I'm gonna just do that as well. It does require to have your eyes closed for like 30 minutes, which high key gives me like 700 panic like, attacks because I'm like, there could be so many demons and I wouldn't even know because my eyes would be closed, you know what I mean? It's like washing your face, like if you think that's scary, I'm gonna have my eyes closed for 30 minutes down here. I am obsessed with that. That was actually the best 20 quid I've ever spent. I literally just had like a broad lamination at home. It's wild. And my eyelashes look amazing if I do say so myself. Now it's time for nails. This is the wee gel kit. I have like a really shaky hand and I'm really, really bad at painting my nails. And um, my sister was meant to do this for me, but that did high key take a good 45 minutes. So she was like, I'm not doing your nails as well. So I'm gonna have to try to do it myself. I'm gonna use this color. It's not gonna focus, is it? Yeah, it's kind of like a peachy color. It reminds me of the color I got last summer for my holidays and it's just making me a wee bit sad. So I just thought, I'll pretend it's summer. I'll pretend I'm going away soon. So these are my before. Oh my God, they're so nice and long. I actually do have acrylics on at the minute. 
I bit this one so much that like it hurts to like touch things. I actually like need to stop doing that, especially because there's like a global pandemic and like you're not supposed to be touching your face at all. And I'm literally like like chomping down on my nails on the daily. Oh wow. Here's the after girls. I might start like a nail page. Okay, so next part is hair extensions. I'm so excited about this part. So I had like the bonds put in, which like you keep in for literally ages. Like you can keep them in for a year as long as you keep getting them refitted, which isn't happening because lovely Corona happened. So obviously they're out now, but they were beauty work. Genuinely recommend like amazing hair extensions. Like they probably look like real hair. So I was like, hey, how y'all doing beauty works? My hair is so thin and damaged and I don't have any extensions. So they sent me these. So they're basically clipping ones. So like you put them in the morning and take them out at night. So like I, I don't have to have like the commitment to them that I have with my other ones. Whereas these are just like, I can put them in when I have something exciting happening. However, I've never put in clippings before. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some research on this. Okay, so I got the 20 inch double hair set in Scandinavian Blonde. I already know what color it was because it's obviously just the same color as my other extensions. Let me go figure out how to put these in and then I'll come back to you. The really good thing about this shape, by the way, is if you're blonde, but like you're a fake blonde like me and you have roots, they have roots. So it like blends in more. It's very good. Scandinavian blonde, it's my favorite. Oh my god, okay, so I've just laid it all out in my bed. There's so much hair. This is going to be a journey to figure out, so I wish me luck. I'm like really sweating. Don't mind me, I'm just like really getting the hang of this. Okay, all done. Now the thing is, because obviously my hair like desperately needs done, under here like doesn't really match the extensions, like it's quite brown. The trick is if you're wearing extensions to like make it blend in more is curl them. And, oh my god, guess what they sent me? The Molly May Curl Kit. Can you see all the tiles? There's like about five tiles on my bedroom floor right now. They sent me the Beauty Works X Molly May Curl Kit. I'm shook. Oh, it's so pretty. Where do you, where do you see the curling wand? Where do you see? Oh my God, clips and all. A wee brush. I sound like I'm sponsored, but I'm really not. They just gifted me this and I'm just so excited because I literally am obsessed with hair extensions. It's a bit of a problem. Also, whenever they gave me it, they were like, we can give you a discount code so that people watching your video can get me off. And I was like, absolutely. Send it my way, loves. And this discount code is OliviaN10 in capitals. Those extensions literally didn't take me on to put in at all. I think it took me like maximum 10 minutes. I thought it was going to take me about half an hour, but I kind of popped off, not going to lie. Do you want a story time about Molly May? <laughs> I have literally always been obsessed with Molly May. I've never watched Love Island, so like I didn't know her on Love Island or anything. But when she came out, like I just thought she was like literally the prettiest person in the world. And her and Tommy... Everyone was like, they're fake, apparently. Well, this is what I've heard in the island. Everyone thought they were fake. But, like, they are my favourite couple. Like, I'm not a big fan of, like, watching, like, couple videos and stuff on YouTube. But I will watch every single video of them. I love them together. Anyway, so I was like, well, she's got millions of followers. She's no idea who I am. And I was sitting in a rugby club one day watching my brother play rugby on a Saturday morning. God knows why. Literally in, like, December. And I looked onto my phone and it was like, Molly May followed you. Molly May sent you a message. And I was like... <laughs> And I just burst into tears and I was like, oh, stop it, you're embarrassing. And my dad was sitting beside me like, why are you crying? And I was like, Molly May just texted me and he's like, who the fuck is Molly May? And I was like, shut up, Graham, shut up. Because like, I was literally sitting in a fucking rugby club watching my brother play rugby and then Molly May texted me. Like, I'm sweating thinking about it. It was truly like, it was not real life. I think she's like a year above me and she's literally just living the life that every girl wants to live. So I'm going to take this bit here, quite a chunky bit. I've never curled my hair before. I'm just going off other people. Like, I feel like this is what I've seen people do. Oh, okay, maybe I snapped. Okay, we're done. I actually really like it. I am really shit at curling hair. I will get better at it, okay? It was my first time, but oh my God, how pretty. I feel like Goldilocks, except this little fucking brown bit. Like, can we cut it off? Anyway, this is my spa day. I'm really actually loving the eyelashes and the eyebrows. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. This took me like seven hours and I really thought it was gonna take me like an hour. 